here. We've got uh, replacements or potential replacements growing in here. We've got several kinds of lettuce. This is Rex. We've got a lettuce called Breen here. day and I've got two different types as you've probably seen in the beginning of the video I've got Rex Butterhead and I've got Breen Romaine. Uh, Breen is not a heading type of romaine it doesn't create a compact head like a lot of romaine that you see but it is more of a compact type plant and it grows wonderfully in the lettuce assembly. Both of these are the lettuce assembly I have a little booklet on it on showing how to make these I also sell these if you're interested. So these have been absolutely wonderful, nearly pristine, absolutely nearly pristine all along. Uh, simple, just add a little bit of nutrient in the reservoir towards the end of the grows. Um, these, these obviously as a bigger plant, they'll suck more nutrient out. Uh, but for the most part, it's almost set it, forget it, and just watch it grow. It's just wonderful to watch them grow and very, very healthy. So, Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how easy it is to harvest them and then we'll get a weight on them. So we'll start with the butterhead. Now there is a divider in here. I'll show you in just a minute. But all you do is you pull it out just like that and you can turn it upside down. And wonderful thing about growing this way is there's hardly any leaves that go bad. This one happened to have a couple and they're real easy to remove while we're at this stage. But all you need to do is take this little bit of roots, 
pull them off just like that, turn it around, lift up, a little one inch neck cup comes off, and on the bottom you'll have a nub, it's a great handle. So that's also going to be where I set it in when I do the weight. So let me do the others. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to do. All right. Okay, you'll notice if you watch my videos, this is, is pretty much very familiar with growing microgreens. And there re there's a reason how I developed this, and it was from growing microgreens. I saw how well and how fast they grew. And I one of the things that I decided against early on was growing baby leaf in the big 1020s and trying to get them to a satisfactory um, level to harvest and use in the house. And what I found was that growing full heads in sequence, you know, like plant two and then a week later plant two more and so on. You can have perpetual lettuce that way. There's also, I've also got a cut, what's called a cut and come uh, lettuce grow and I think you'll find that really interesting where I grow eight different types in the 1020 and uh, pick, we're going to pick the outside leaves of those and uh, ever so often and continue to let them grow from the inside out. And that's called a cut and come, and that's coming up. Right now, they're probably, all the plants, they've got eight different varieties, they're probably about this big. So hopefully that'll be out in the next two or three weeks. So, um, yes, this is very, very similar to how I weigh microgreens. And you, uh, several of you have asked me, how long does it take to grow the lettuce, and how much product do you get uh, for the amount of time, and all that kind of stuff. You know, basic questions. So... That's the reason why I'm doing it this way um, with the lettuce this time. So I'm putting an empty. This is uh, what brand? This happens to be Solo. We also get Hefty and other brands. It doesn't matter what type of cup. All this does is it raises the lettuce up so that you can see uh, the scale. All right, so what we got now is we've got it zeroed out. We're going to put the first butter crunch on there. And since it's zeroed out, this is going to be nothing but the weight of the butter crunch. All right, 10.85, if you can't see that. I'm looking in the viewer, really small, but I, I'm sure you can see that. That is nearly a, uh, well, it's not a pound. Let's see how much it is. It's 0 0.68, um, 0 0.68 of a pound. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> All right, let's see what the second one was. Now, you can continue to grow these. These happen to head up. Uh, a little bit, but you can continue to grow these and they'll get bigger and heavier. This one happens to be 0.668, which is very, very close to the other one. What is that? Is that three quarters of a pound? Let me put it back on here. That is, uh, yeah, it's decent. It's close to three quarters of a pound of lettuce. Let's change it back to grams for this romaine. I mean, uh, ounces. Okay, still zeroed out. Wind is kicking. Hope you can still hear me. All right, that's 8.4. That's just under half, I mean, just over half a pound, 0.52. And last but not least, let's go back to ounces. Zeroed out. That one's 8.25, about the exact same weight as the other one. So they were both 0 0.51, 0 0.52 pounds. So both of these, the Romaine was very consistent with each other, and the Rex Butterhead were also very consistent with each other. And that is also something good because it, it talks to consistency of the grow. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to destroy this lettuce. We're going to give a couple heads to family members, and we're going to, Gene and I are going to chow down. This is Brent, you guys. See you later.